And my nickname now, tw 12 years ago, was actually the, the, the retinator, the terminator of the retina, so called by my colleagues, by the ophthalmology community, where there was a big editorial about my research saying, oh, this is going to cost us jobs. This is going to lower the quality of care. Should we want this? And so their answer was, no, actually, this improves quality of care, improves access, and now the strongest supporters from the Autonomous AI for the Diabetic Eye Exam is the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Ophthalmology. So it's very exciting to see that if you do it right, if you explain it carefully, if you're very open, if you show with evidence that it is safe, that it's not biased, etc., this can really work and this acceptance can be there. So part of the challenge was just essentially... And I mentioned this ethical framework and you can say, well, you know, it's very nebulous and, and vague, but it was actually really important to show that there was these ethics that were answered. Now, the bias that we already mentioned, what happens to the data of the patient who's liable, right? We had to solve the liability. If you're a physician, you're liable for your medical decisions, typically. What about an AI? And so we early on said that the uh, the AI creator, in this case, the company, should be held liable for the performance of the AI. That is now part of the policy of the American Medical Association for Autonomous AI. But someone needed to say that.